Hey guys, what is up? Going to do something I don't normally do, which is a review for an album. I've done them before, but don't do a lot of them. I'm going to do a quick review for Frank Iro and the Celebrations' new album, Summer Gakes, their debut album. Of course, a lot of people know Frank Iro. It's been part of a ton of awesome projects. Won't go into that. We'll just kind of focus on this. And holy shit, is it amazing. Uh, this was one of probably my most anticipated album of the year or at least one of them in a year full of amazing releases, and uh, it exceeded every expectation I had. I'm not trying to just hype it up to hype it up. I'm not trying to do anything. But I've been listening to them on loop for, what, past two days now? Uh, it's something I don't normally do. I normally don't, I normally don't do that because I'm always afraid if I will wear an album out on me, but this is one where it's like I will try to stop it but immediately want to hear it just a little bit later. It is incredible. It, what is incredible about it is something, it achieves something that not many albums today do. It is a honest and sincere album, and it does it in a format that's not normally known for uh, very honest and sincere lyrics. Uh, not even more, at least. It's a, I mean, of course, you have a very punk influence you can hear behind it, uh, which, of course, punk has always been very honest and sincere what it's been about, but this is kind of in more recent times, punk has kind of been taken and honest, but more like a sound, sound like hipster-esque, a corporate kind of honest with a lot of bands. Uh, but then there, I mean, there's several amazing bands out there that aren't doing that. But anyway, get a little off track there. It is just honest and sincere, and sincere from beginning to end. And his, uh, Frank Iroh's voice in this entire album, you can just feel every single emotion in every single syllable. Uh, you can connect to the album incredibly. The drums, especially in the album, sound amazing. They have a almost misfit static age with a little bit of electronic influence uh, tied together, which may sound horrible at first, uh, but I guarantee you listen to it, it works so well. I would go through every track, but I would just be me fanboying, fanboying. So uh, I'll just go through some of my favorites. Joyriding is probably my favorite one, or one of my favorite ones. Joyriding and She's a Pretty Girl at the Party. Joyriding has a really cool intro, really cool drum beat, but it also has lyrics to stick in your head that you cannot get out the rest of the day in the best way possible. Uh, have lyrics in there, I just want a t-shirt of them, stuff. So, uh, I hate my weaknesses, they made me who I am. I hope I die before they save my soul. Lines like that which just come out with such honesty and sincerity again. That's incredible. Speaking of honesty and sincere, and sincere, the song is just gorgeous. Is She's a Pretty Girl at the Party. One that really surprised me when I didn't really... I, it kind of sounded it wasn't expecting on the album, but I'm so happy it was there. One that I look forward to. I'm really hoping to catch uh, these songs live and catch them live. I know they've announced some tour dates. Uh, none, sadly, none really close to me, so hopefully they'll announce some Texas or Oklahoma, New Mexico even dates soon. I would love that. I think the nearest one I have is Colorado at Riot Fest. But uh, all that aside, you really need to give this album a chance. If you are even slightly interested in any of his past works, you know, or Frank Iroh's past works, or if you're interested in just hearing something that sounds fresh, that sounds like it takes influences from old and new, and makes them that really does sound fresh and unique. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend Selm. Go pick it up. It's incredible. I will see you guys in another review video. Leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you thought of the album if you listened to it. Tell me why uh, why you liked it, what you didn't like about it. Tell me anything and everything. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video or review.